For a thousand dollars, guys, look at how much fireworks you're getting. Like, let's actually walk over here real quick and just show this stack. You might be surprised to see this. This is just my one pile here. We have one case on the tailgate and we have all of this over here still. So you see all of these shots up here, 150 in total, and they all go in five seconds. So that means all 12 shots go at the exact same time. Oh, look at that crackling ring. Oh my God. I'm a cock my nine I'm a mother. How's it going everyone? It's Cody B Pyrotechnics and welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we have a ton of fireworks in my pickup box here and we do have a topper so you can see they're stacked to about the roof of the topper. Now I'm really excited to show you guys what I have back here because they're all cases. We got them wholesale price from spirit76fireworks.com. Um, I'm not sure if that's the actual address that you'll be typing in, but I will put the link in the description. But we're gonna talk more about that later. Um, what I can tell you is I paid a thousand dollars even for all the fireworks I'm about to show you. Now when we talk about wholesale cases like this versus individual retail packages, I guess as an example, I've got something here, and this is what you would normally see at a fireworks store. You know, like a six pack of shells like this comes with a tube. Um, what wholesale cases are is a bunch of these inside one box. So you see the packaging here, 2-1 on Ghost Dragon. That's actually a NOAB. So the NOABs that I show on this channel, you're actually getting two of them in this box, and that's what I mean by wholesale or I guess when I call them cases, we get a case of more than one item. So we have a ton of them back here from Spirit of 76 Pro Line, Sky Bacon, uh, Taco Brand, and I think we've got a couple other items in here as well. But we're gonna pull each one of these cases out onto the tailgate, show you the individual items that come within the case, and then we're gonna be demoing one of each item from the case that we show you in this video. Now this is gonna be like a two-part video. So in this part, we are gonna show you each individual item and shoot it off. So when we have a case of two, one, we're gonna be lighting one of the items off inside the case. If we have one package 16-1, I'm looking at it right now, we'll be lighting one of those items and there will be 15 remaining. Now, um, this, like I said, is a two-part video. So this is gonna be where we demo each of these items. And then the second part of the video is we're gonna be making a firework display with everything we have left. And I think that'll be a really good representation as to what you guys can do with a thousand dollars. Like if this is all you wanna order for the 4th of July, not only can you have fun with these individual items like this, that's what we're gonna be doing in this video, but we're also gonna show you how to make an awesome firework display under a thousand dollars, because obviously, you know, we'll be doing some individual pieces, but then creating a firework display with everything we have left over. So without any further ado, we're gonna pull these cases out onto the tailgate one at a time, unbox them, show you what's inside, and then we're gonna go shoot them off. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the Ghost Dragon here. Um, I'm gonna try to keep my volume down a little bit because I did actually hear some clipping on the mic earlier. And so hopefully if I don't talk loud enough, now I might get pretty excited as we get further on during the unboxings, but hopefully I don't because I did hear some clipping and so hopefully we can avoid that altogether if I just talk a little quieter. But you guys should still be able to hear me okay because the mic is literally right here. Um, so anyway, this is Ghost Dragon 2-1. It is a no ab, so nine shots per cake. You're gonna get this board inside the case. Hope you can see that. And pretty much what I like to do with these boards is if I'm making a 200 gram cake board, these actually work perfect. You just put some hot glue down on here. You can line up all your 200 gram cakes. You might be doing that for a segment in your show, or maybe you're gonna use these for some Saturn missile batteries. Um, I think we actually got a case of those. So maybe I'll show you an example of what you can do with these later on. All right, so this is by Taco Pyrotechnics. Take a look at that logo right there. I like that, Taco Pyrotechnics. Looks like maybe an octopus on there. We got a dragon in the background. It looks like it's breathing fire. Um, yeah, check out this graphic, super cool. Looks like we got a Jawa right here from Star Wars maybe, I'm not sure. But uh, nine shots in total, it's called Ghost Dragon. And um, I don't know if they have a performance listed on here, but we got two of them. 
uh, right here. So they actually call it a reference guide. And um, I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but uh, we've got the code here. Um, category is multi-shot. I think in this scenario, it should say no ab. 500 grams, obviously, that's the maximum legal limit. We got nine shots. Spread is straight up, so that means there's no angle on here. This levels here, I assume, just means the height of the shells, so like how high up in the air do they go. And as you can see, they go really high. Um, volume is gonna be loud with three inch shells. Preloads like this, even if they're two inch shells, we expect that. 35 second duration, love to see that on the cake because if you guys are trying to script this into a firework display, you do need to know that duration. And this is much faster than having to find a demo video on YouTube and time it with your phone. So I really appreciate it when companies do that. Colors are gonna be gold, red, green, and silver. And your performance is right here. Each massive shot breaks as a symmetrical brocade ring with a multicolored ghost ring around the outside. A great effect that stands out in any fireworks show. Now, I wanna explain that ghost ring a little bit. So when the firework breaks up into the air, um, you know, you, you see those classic symmetrical breaks. Now a ghost ring breaks in a circle, but it wraps around. So the stars are supposed to light up and then make the circle in the sky. I have not seen this done correctly in consumer fireworks. So we're gonna see if the Ghost Dragon by Taco can do it. And next up, we have a case of the 150 shot finale box, Silver Dragon, five seconds each, 12-1. Um, this is also a Spirit of 76 Pro Line item. So let's get this cut open. Now, I believe that these are the Saturn missiles, but they're called, you know, Silver Dragon. So let's get it opened up and find out. Yes, so this is what the Saturn missiles look like, but these are a bit different. So you see all of these shots up here, 150 in total, and they all go in five seconds. So this is really good for segments in your firework display, especially if you're doing like a three station show. You could have one in the middle and one of these on the right and left, and you will have volleys of 150 of these things at a time going up. And it doesn't really look like a Saturn missile battery. What it looks like instead is just a bunch of whistling mines going up, and then you got your classic little brakes um, reports on the top of these things. So these are a lot of fun, got a whole case of them, 12-1. And I wanna show you what I meant here by putting these on the board. So you'll notice the fuse protector right here on the end. Um, and essentially what you guys would wanna do is maybe just line these up like that on the board. Obviously they would be a little more centered than this, but I'm just winging it out here. And now um, once you've gotten that far, you'll just continue to take off these fuse protectors, pull that fuse down to about there, and um, line up all those fuses there on the side. And as you're doing that, you'll just kind of quick fuse them all together and you'll have yourself a nice full little board. Now you can use that for a finale, an opener, or a segment. And you can also add 200 gram cakes over here, but you gotta make sure you're hot gluing these things down to the board. Um, that way when you're transporting them, they're not gonna fall off and you'll end up losing some of these in the process too. So just be mindful of that. But anyway, we got a whole case of these bad boys and I can't wait to show you guys these. We may light more than one, I haven't decided yet. All right, this next one here is probably the heaviest case in the whole pickup. Um, we'll turn it this way just a tad. So again, we're going back to that Taco Pyrotechnics brand. And uh, this one is kind of interesting. The best of five inch and six inch artillery shells. The packing on here, I don't really understand it. So it must be kind of like an assortment, but the packing is three, four, six. So you get three of four of six. So let's go ahead and cut this open and figure out what all that means. Um, I know I saw a photo of these online, but okay, yeah, this looks, this looks a little easier to understand. Okay, so it's a lot like a 24 kit of shells. In fact, that's exactly what it is. So this is a 24 kit and um, you get six five inch Nishiki bombs right here. Um, we'll try to get an up close shot of those. So these are the five inch Nishiki bombs. And then right here we have six of the Ringmaster. And then if we flip it around, we've got six inch mammoth shells. I don't think I've ever seen those. And last but not least, we have five inch plutonium shells. So I have heard about the plutonium shells, but I've never shot them off in person. Um, this is again, your effects guide. And I'm pretty sure that all of these uh, references are gonna be the same since these should all be 60 gram canister shells. But here's the effects on the mammoth ones. 
then the ringmaster. And we'll come down here to the plutonium effects. And this way you guys can like screenshot them if you wanna read out these effects. But either way, we're gonna be shooting off and demoing this entire 24 kit of shells. And I can't wait to do it because I love it that you get four different shell kits in one. I think firework companies have been missing their opportunity to do that all these years. So I am kind of happy to see that um, Spirit of 76, or I guess Taco Pyrotechnics has finally done that. By the way, guys, I promise I'm gonna talk about these shells later, um, but for now, they're gonna have to be the eyesore in the background of the video. Um, we're gonna pull this case out next. This is a 4-1, and I'm pretty sure that this is 500 gram cakes. I'm gonna have to tone it down a little bit. Kind of forget about that. Um, I get really excited about fireworks, if you couldn't tell. So you gotta cut these straps off. Usually when you see these straps, that means there's gonna be another board in the box. So we'll see if we get another one. I'm sure we do. Or maybe we only get them on the large caliber shells. Nope, we do have one in here. So this is another one of those boards. Um, it's a little smaller than that last one since the dimensions of those no abs are a lot bigger than this. Um, but you got another one of these at least. So if you wanted to make another cake board, you totally could. And uh, that came inside the bacon blaster. So you get four or 500 gram cakes in here. Let's get one pulled out and take a look at our reference guide. So not only do you get that on the taco pyrotechnics, but you also get that on the sky bacon fireworks. Um, so we've got the code multi-shot 500 grams, 12 shots straight up, no angle. Colors are very limited, blue gold, green, and red. So only four colors in this whole thing. It goes high in the air, 40 second duration. Love to see that. Volume is loud. And here's your performance. It's kind of tiny. So I'll try to get you an up close shot of that. Um, but yeah, this one, 12 shots, bacon blaster. I love the graphic and his hard hat has the sky bacon logo on there. So we're going to be shooting this off as well. What does this say? Fireworks that sizzle sky bacon. That's pretty cool. So we got that and I'm just now noticing that bacon is coming out of this gun. That's pretty cool stuff. All right, so I had to get into the back of my pickup here to pull this one out. This is super heavy and look at it in comparison with me. So, I mean, these cases, they're pretty big. Uh, we're gonna put this one on the tailgate and I'm gonna try to crawl out of here. This isn't made for people who are 6'1". Ah. Okay. So this is some five inch canister shells packaged 324. So much like the other one, um, the only difference is the other one was packaged like 346 and this is just 324. So you get three boxes of 24 canister shells. Um, these are called wildcat cartridges. I don't know, I think that's supposed to be canisters uh, or maybe they're doing that on purpose because this is by Realtree brand. So Realtree, as you guys know, if you're familiar with it, it isn't a fireworks brand. So this must be like their experimental line. Um, they're just kind of dipping a toe in the firework industry, if you will. And so, yeah, this is their little firework line. Let's get these things pulled out. I'm interested to see what uh, the labels look like. You know, with it being Realtree brand, they probably don't know much about fireworks. So let's get one of these pulled out and take a look. So there you go. You got your classic uh, camo style stuff. Pretty sure that's what Realtree specializes in is like, I know that they do clothing, hunting and fishing stuff and uh, specifically like this camo design. You got some shells down here. So yeah, as you can see, they did add fireworks there and I don't think that was on the case. So Realtree fireworks, we've got like a bobcat or a mountain lion, five inch wildcat cartridges, consumer fireworks, and it looks like we get some gold cans. Now I know that they probably didn't do this intentionally, but I really do appreciate them putting it in bold black font right there against that gold so you can really see it. Even if there is a major reflection with the sun, you'll still be able to pick that out on site if you've got these loaded up in the racks. Um, now take a look at this. You've got like some instructions here. One, two, three, and four. So the shell goes in, fuse comes up, you light the fuse like that. Then we have a performance. The most powerful 60 gram canister shells on the market, we'll see about that. Super loud breaks with great effects. Includes four fiberglass mortar tubes. So you're not getting the HTPE tubes in here, but that's no problem. We're gonna be lighting off an entire 24 kit of these tonight. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull a couple of these out right away. Um, because I'm just not in as good a shape as I used to be. So for me to crawl up here and try to pull these out one at a time kind of sucks. Um, I do see a bunch back there though that I'm gonna have to crawl back and get. That's kind of unfortunate. Maybe I should just do that right now. One left. Ah. Ah. 
By the way, guys, the weather is really nice today. It's like 52 degrees right now. We got a little stream over there from snow melt. Looks like a river going up like that. It's a beautiful day. And uh, hopefully what that means is more frequent videos on the channel. So we'll see. As long as the weather stays cooperating, we're gonna try to pump these videos out every day. All right, you'll have to excuse me. I'm a little out of breath from pulling all these things out, but we'll get this opened up. Oh, I forgot to tell you, this is Ringmaster and it's package 12.6. So take a look at all of these shells you get in the case. Now each one of these boxes has six shells in it. And these are called Ringmaster. This is what the label looks like. It looks like a circus with maybe a circus performer or a something. A ringmaster? A ringmaster. <laughs> so this is a ringmaster right here and he's got a fiery ring. Um, there's a song by Johnny Cash, Burning Ring of Fire. That's kind of what that reminds me of. Oh, here are all of our effects. And what is this? A performance description. An amazing new effect you have to see to believe. These 3D rings don't just go out like a circle, they expand like a donut. Truly the master of all ring effects. We'll see about that, because lately I have been doing a lot of ring shells. However, these are six inch ring shells. So that's kind of interesting. Maybe these are gonna break like really hard. I really hope they do, um, because a lot of these ring shells that I gotten from like Brothers Pyrotechnics, they're not breaking like a true canister. So it'd be cool to see them break like that. Look at how perfect that ring is. That crackling one. Man, hopefully we can get these on video. And then there's all your effects right there. So we'll be doing one kit of these as well. All right, this is like the last of the really large cases. And then we have a bunch of smaller cases to show you. We are in kind of a different camera focus right now. And the reason we're doing that is because it's starting to cast shadows on the box and then maybe you can't see like some of the wording. So anyway, that's what that's all about. Um, this is a 76 Pro Line item packaged for one and it's called 49 Shot Z Colorful World of Red and Blue Ghost Mines. 12 seconds per cake. So when you see that Z, it just means back and forth. So Z stands for like zipper. Um, but with 49 shots, I don't think it's going to really act like a zipper. I think it's just going to go back and forth, maybe somewhat fast. Either way, we're going to shoot one off, so you guys will know later on. But this is what your Spirit of 76 Proline fireworks items look like. And um, they look a little more professional than your typical consumer fireworks. Um, you do need a 1.4 Pro license to purchase this stuff, but it is much, much easier to get than an ATF license that you need to purchase one three professional grade fireworks. Um, so this is not that, don't get that confused. But 49 shots here, uh, duration 12 seconds. They put that right on the cake. Um, let's flip it around and take a look at this. So there's your fuse. And if you wanted to hook this up to, uh, let's say the Cobra firing system, you would just kind of make a cut here with your box cutter and then poke that with a brass awl and you can put your MJG igniters right in there like that. Um, so yeah, that's what that one looks like. And I forget those were packaged for one. All right, next up, we have another 76 Pro Line item. This is 12 shot finale box, time rain crackle simultaneously, 200 gram cake. Um, you get these packaged 8-1. So let's get this thing opened up. I really like how these little 200 gram Proline cakes look. They just look like, um, you know, I used to watch a videos of the 1-3 cakes when they first came out. And this is really reminiscent of that, you know, just a classic brown wrap. So 12 shots finale box. Um, it doesn't look like we have a duration, but I guess that's not really a big deal since we're gonna be demoing one of these off anyway. You guys can pull the time right from that. Um, so I didn't see this sticker on the one I just showed you, but this is your e-port. Now an e-port means that there's actually something in there that you just plug your igniter right into and you don't have to mess with poking a hole with your brass awl. They've already done that work for you. Um, but yeah, you got the sticker here and I assume that port is gonna be somewhere about right here. In fact, I think I can feel it right there. So when you cut that, you'll just push your igniter in. You don't have to do any poking and that makes it really nice. So that's four, eight, 12. So yeah, that's not 12 seconds, that's 12 shots. Okay, I'm an idiot. The duration is right here, simultaneously. So that means all 12 shots go at the exact same time. So I guess the duration on this thing is instant, one second. Um, this is gonna be a fun one to test. You can shake it around. 
if I do it by the mic here, you can hear those shells. All right, guys, take a look. This one here was inspected. Um, so I don't know if that means they opened up the case, but I think this A here that was torn off stands for AFSL. I think I've seen this tape before. So when it says inspected like that on the case, I'm wondering, do they open this and then repackage it? You know, do they do, when they do their weight tests and stuff like that? Okay, this is really cool. So we've got the red, white, and blue. As you can see, it's an assortment, four, three. So you get four of these little bags here that come with a handle, which I really love. Now, uh, these are really good for like segments in your firework displays. So if you wanted to do a red, white, and blue segment within your show, what you might want to do is actually take all four of these cakes. So you're gonna get four red, four white, and four blue and you'll take all four of the red cakes, fuse them together so that they all go at the same time. That way you can really distinguish that red, the white in the middle, and the blue on the far right. Um, and that's how you really wanna do your red, white, and blue segments, unless you're using angled cakes, um, but this is really cool. So let's just go ahead and pull one of these out. And as you can see, we have a reference guide. Again, performance is white dazzles with 16 white strobing peonies. So that's gonna be nice. Um, the only thing by using a strobe instead of just a white peony is that sometimes the strobe lingers for a little bit. And then if you have a blue and a red peony that doesn't have any strobe, the white will be the only one remaining after these breaks. So we'll see how they perform though. We're gonna go ahead and test out all three, one of the red, one of the white, and one of the blue before the end of the video. All right, we are back to Sky Bacon Fireworks. This is the Angry Cowboy 16-1. So with it being 16-1, this is gonna be a 200 gram cake. There was no tape there to cut. Um, so let's get this thing opened up. And uh, there is your fire resistant paper, as always. These things are tiny, but look at this. You get 16 of these. And um, I can't remember how much I paid for this. I just know I paid $1,000 in total for everything. But could you guys imagine the value on this thing? Like if you wanna do a finale where you're just firing all of these 200 gram cakes at once, you can't beat it. And anyway, here is our reference guide. Um, you've got a multi-shot 200 gram, 16 straight up, red, white, blue, and gold. So again, with the red, white, and blue stuff, we're getting more of it here. Duration is 25 seconds. Performance is right here. This cowboy comes out shooting with brocade tails to brocade crowns and color stars with crackle. Very interesting. Can't wait to see this. And we got some decent sized shells in there too. All right, this one here, um, Sky Bacon again, and this is Neon World Packaged 8-1. Also, I just really want to reiterate the fact that uh, for $1,000, guys, look at how much fireworks you're getting. Like, let's actually walk over here real quick and just show this stack. So most of you guys who only shop retail fireworks, um, you might be surprised to see this, you know? Like, this is a lot of fireworks. And for only $1,000, the reason why we're getting it so cheap is because it's wholesale. Now, like I said, the difference between wholesale and retail is that the retail items are priced out. Like for instance, you'll see this on the shelf and it'll be something like 130 bucks, right? That's what we're used to. But in these cases, which is wholesale, you'll get for $130, you'll get four of these. So the value is definitely there doing it this way. And uh, this is just my one pile here. We have one case on the tailgate and we have all of this over here still. So like that's a lot of fireworks for $1,000. All right, back to Neon World. Let's go ahead and get this cut open um, and show you what these cakes look like. So again, packaged 8-1. So they're gonna be a little bigger than the last 200 gram cake that we showed. Fireworks that sizzle, Sky Bacon, Neon World. Love the label design of this. Um, I'm a big fan of neon bar signs. So seeing this is definitely cool. Um, just the neon theme in general is something I've always enjoyed. Um, it's kind of nostalgic in a way. We got multi-shot, 200 grams, 18 shot, straight up, red, green, and yellow. That's an interesting choice for color. Volume is loud, 35 seconds. I thought maybe this would have an angle on it, but it looks like there isn't. Performance is right here light up your world with combinations of red, green, and blue, and yellow stars accompanied by silver, gold, and green glitter. That'll be a nice one. All right, now this one here is another 76 Pro line. So again, you'll need that 1.4 license to purchase these, but these are packaged for one. And uh, let's get this cut open. So this is gonna be a much larger cake um, than what we saw last time. 
and it does have an angle on it. A lot of these pro cakes have an angle just because you know you want that spread in a firework display. We've got 30 shots in a Z pattern. So that Z is this back and forth. So instead of doing them in rows like this when you see Z, instead of going like this and then coming back every time, it goes like this, this, and this. So that's what the Z means. 30 shots, gold mine to gold brocade crown. 20 second duration. This is probably gonna be my favorite of the night. But who knows, I'm also really excited to see those canister shells but I also really love gold mines and I love me some brocade and willow shells. So this cake might take it for the night. So this one here is by Sky Bacon Fireworks, Mount Rushmore. You've got Washington, Jefferson. What does that say? Roosevelt, Lincoln, and just assorted one four. And um, this is another one that's gonna have the uh, board that you put your 200 gram cakes on. So you'll notice all four of these cakes are different. We've got Roosevelt, Lincoln, Washington, and Jefferson. And that means we're gonna have to light all four of them off. Um, so I guess, you know, when we do the firework display, it isn't gonna be quite a thousand dollar value. You know, we've definitely taken out a lot of fireworks and we're gonna be a whole case short because we're lighting this entire assortment off. We've got this one here. Um, there's your performance. I'm not gonna go through each one because we are gonna see these in person, um, but it looks like they might all four be straight up. So no angles on this one. Nine shots and um, judging by the sound of those shells, I'm gonna say these are canisters and these are gonna be really loud for what they are. So can't wait to see these. And last but not least, I never thought I'd be saying that. Can you guys believe how many fireworks we got for a thousand bucks? So this right here is 12 shot red, white, and blue Dahlia assortment. Duration there is 30 seconds, but I don't know if that means 30 seconds per cake or 30 seconds for all three of them because it's package one, three. So I'm assuming we're gonna get a red cake, a white cake, and a blue one. Let's get it cut open and find out. And this is also a 76 Pro Line item. Um, I just did this cut here with the box cutter, so don't pay any attention to that. But we have a 12 shot white Dahlia, 30 seconds. So I'm gonna put this one aside. We're gonna light all three of these cakes off, by the way. Also, massive bore size on here. That's gotta be like a 1.75 inch shell on the inside. 12 shots red Dahlia. Put that one right here. And last but not least, we have a 12 shot blue Dahlia. 30 seconds again, same size bore. And lastly, they included this as kind of like a bonus item, but these are the Hellcat five inch canister shells. We just have one sleeve of six of them and we're gonna be testing out all six of these as well. So even though technically we didn't order these, um, they're still gonna be in the video. So before we shoot all these fireworks off, which I know you guys are just dying to see, just give me one minute of your time because I wanna talk to you guys about Spirit of 76, the fireworks company. And I also wanna just kinda tell you how I got all these fireworks. So obviously I ordered all the cases that you just saw in this video online. There's gonna be a few different links in the description. One of them is gonna take you directly to their website where you can do your own shopping or looking around and when you click on that link and type in the coupon code codyb76 at checkout you're actually going to get $50 off your entire order. Now Spirit of 76 does an annual fireworks demo. Now what this is is generally they will host it at the fireworks store location. I'm not sure if they have a separate location for the demo but what it is is you show up and you guys get to see all of these fireworks shot off in person before you purchase them. And mind you, these demos are free. So if you just wanna go and enjoy some fireworks with your family and friends, you're more than welcome to do that. The link for that is gonna be in the description as well. And also they do offer a training course. Now, for those of you who are interested in getting your 1.4 Pro license so you can purchase fireworks like this, this isn't a bad idea and it happens the same day as the demo. Now that demo is coming up fast. It is on April 22nd, so make sure to mark your calendars. And last but not least, I am gonna put a 
phone number in the description because the salespeople at Spirit of 76 are awesome and they will help you guys out with any unique orders or just any questions you may have about the products either shown in this video or anything you see on their website that I did not light off in this video. And without any further ado, we're gonna go ahead and start our own video demo for you guys and stay tuned for part two where we attempt to make a firework display, an entire firework show with the remaining items that we did not light in this video. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and start lighting off the items I got from Spirit of 76. Now remember, this one here was on its own, so this isn't gonna be in the part two video where we do the firework display, but check it out. We got the entire Mount Rushmore assortment. We're gonna start over here with Washington, work our way down the line all the way to Roosevelt, and then we're gonna do the red, white, and blue 200 gram cakes. But let's go ahead and start with these. Here goes the first Mount Rushmore cake. Things are hitting hard. <laughs> Some insane breaks. Wow. Next up is Lincoln, and I got a little further back. There we go, we can see that break a little better. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if that was intentional or what. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> That was awesome. Next up is Jefferson. Huge breaks. Last but not least, Roosevelt. All right, moving on to the 200 gram red, white, and blue cakes. We're gonna start with red. I'm actually really impressed with that because they didn't use any other colors or crackle. That was a solid red color. Next up is white. Let's see how they do this. I'm kind of curious. Is it just going to be a white strobe? Ooh, nice. Look at that. This is what I like to see, guys. All white effects, gotta love it. And last but definitely not least, this is blue. I'm really interested to see what they're gonna do here because blue is tough to get. Oh wow, okay. Little bit of gold, but you can totally see that blue. Love that. Nice. 
All right, guys, we got all six of our five inch Hellcat canister shells fused up in the Cody B rack. This thing is basically old faithful. I've been using it for several years and have not had to replace the tubes or the wooden base it comes with. So here we go. All right, I don't think there is a mine effect on these, but if there is, we have two camera angles. And those are loud. Nice shell. All right, guys, here goes the six inch Ringmaster canister shells. Three camera angles. Nice. So we kind of got unlucky on the ring shells yet again, um, but maybe one of the cameras picked them up a little better than I did. Five inch Wildcat canister shells. We may get some fuse jumping here, but that's okay because uh, these shells were not numbered one through 24. So we're just trying to see these effects. Holy cow. <laughs> Real tree knows how to make some fireworks. Wow, those are gorgeous. Yeah, I figured we'd get some fuse jumping. Man, the colors on these things. I think this is the last shell right here. All right, look at that.
Well, I'll tell you what, Realtree, despite not being a firework brand, did really well on these shells. Outstanding, 10 out of 10 on performance and loudness. All right, guys, so this is the Taco Pyrotechnics kit, all fused up in the rack. Um, you might be kind of confused, like, what am I looking at here? Well, what I've done is I fused all the shells together in the bottom, like you guys have seen me do with our new fusing method for canister shells. And you'll see I wrote start here. So we're gonna start with the plutonium shells, five inch, and the first six shells to fire are gonna be the plutonium. Then after these first six plutonium shells go, we actually go right into the next set of six shells. There is no delay there. And these ones are the six inch mammoth shells. So we're gonna have a nice side by side on some five inch cans versus some six inch. Then we'll take you over to the other side of the rack where you'll notice I actually did the exact same thing, okay? But we have uh, two new shell kits. So starting over here, this is where the leader fuse is. We've got the six inch ringmaster shells. So now we're opening with six inch canister shells and then going back into five inch cans over here. So we're gonna get like a nice compare and contrast five inch versus six inch, see if there's any difference in noise or performance. And finally, we're gonna finish with the five inch Nishiki bombs. So shells 13 through 18 are gonna be the ringmaster. And then immediately following that, so that'll be shells 19 through 24, are gonna be the five inch Nishiki bombs. Just a quick reminder, there are gonna be no breaks in between these shells going off. So you guys will have to pay attention and count them as they're going off, but we think we have a pretty good pace on that fuse, so it shouldn't be an issue. And then I'll just give you a recap over here. Shells one through six are gonna be plutonium. Shells seven through 12 are gonna be the six inch mammoth shells. Here we go guys, this is the taco shell kit. Yeah, you could really hear a difference in person when you switched over to the six inch mammoth shells. Here goes our next set of 12 shells, starting with Ringmaster. Oh, look at that crackling ring. We had another one, but. Here we go, five inch Nishiki bomb, baby. Look at this. Man, these things are hitting hard. Wow. I think those are gonna take it. Definitely the winner of this comparison, five inch Nishiki bombs. All right guys, well as you can see, all 24 shells went off from the taco kit. These labels are just hanging on by a thread. Um, check it out, our fusing worked really nicely. You could clearly distinguish what shells were going off at what point in the video. All right, let's go ahead and see Neon World. Might need that. Yep, Neon World.
And here goes the 150 shot Silver Dragon by the Proline. And my light is a little too bright for that. But take a look. Silver Dragons. <laughs> oh my God. All right, this one I'm really excited for. Um, this is that simultaneous crackle 12 shot finale box. This should be good. Oh my God. <laughs> Imagine a case of those for a finale. And here goes our Z Cake 30 seconds gold mine to gold brocade. I said earlier that I think this is gonna be my favorite of the night. Let's find out. All right, we're gonna shoot this one in wide angle. This might be my favorite. This is uh, gold mines, gold brocades. Look at that. Wow, gorgeous little cake. All right, this big one here on the top, what is that one called again? 49 shot Z, colorful world of red and blue with ghost mines, 12 seconds. Super excited for this, because I think it'd be really cool if these look as good as I think they're gonna. You can use it as individual slices that way. Yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah. Well, let's see if we can do that. Ooh, look at that ghost mine. goes from red into blue. There you go, this one should be fun. This is the bacon blaster and take a look at that bore size. Show that again, look at that. So comparison to my hand there, those are some seriously large caliber tubes. Check it out, 12 shots. Bacon blaster, baby. Wow. Ooh, <laughs> that was kind of tough to see on video, but that one's nice. Look at that gold. Man, those crackling willows at the end. Very nice. All right, I think this is the largest cake of the night. Check this out. This is the Ghost Dragon, nine shot Noab. Awesome dragon graphic on here with some red lightning. And I'm pretty sure that's a Jawa. I don't know. <laughs> Taco Pyrotechnics, 500 gram, Ghost Dragon. Here goes, biggest one of the night, Ghost Dragon. Taco Pyrotechnics, big old Noab. Oh, look at that. Oh man, it does wrap all the way around. Look at this, look at it. Oh, I probably should have shot in wide. There we go, there we go, you can see the wrap. That one broke sideways. <laughs> oh, man. I wish you guys could see these in person. Wow. Just realized we forgot to light off this 200 gram cake called Angry Cowboy. 16 shots, there we go. Not bad for a 200 gram of that size. Well, it's been fun guys, and I think for a grand finale, we're gonna get real patriotic and do all three of these red, white, and blue mega two inch boar size cakes. Take a look at that and the shells come up. Um, we're gonna get massive breaks here. And as a grand finale, tribute to the USA, we're gonna do all three of them at once. All right guys, here goes our red, white, and blue patriotic finale. Oh, <laughs> look at that. America! Woo!
Nice. <laughs> All right, guys, well, just look at all of the carnage that surrounds me. We had a lot of fun tonight. Um, I was really, really impressed with the brakes on our finale. Super symmetrical brakes. I can't say I was expecting that, um, but Spirit of 76 Pro Line, they did not disappoint us. I thought there were gonna be canister shells in there, but they were true ball shells with that perfectly symmetrical brake. Um, yeah, we had a ton of fun letting all this off. I really hope you guys could hear just how loud these fireworks were on the mic that I was using tonight, because um, we had a really nice echo going probably 12 miles out that way you could still hear it. And with that, I just wanna remind you guys one more time, be sure to check out all the links in the description if you guys wanna save like 50 dollars off and order any of this for your 4th of July show, be sure to use those links. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.